Hi beautifuls. I am at a car show right now and it's really fucking hot outside. So now I'm sitting in the van that we trailered my uncle's motorcycle in. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'll probably upload um, a video of his motorcycle soon. But at the moment, I am bored. So I thought I'd talk to you guys about cheek piercings. Why not? Because um, I still get a lot of questions that I did not get asked before. But okay, so most main question this is all the questions that I've gotten um does your cheek piercings hurt it felt like someone pinching you really really hard for two seconds like the stinging kind of pinch yeah or any lip piercing it feels like that um if you were to get it pierced you gotta be careful of who you're going to I said that many times um all piercings do slide, so after the swelling goes down, your piercings could be crooked. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, so you guys don't don't mind that. Um, what was I going to say? I look like a punk rocker right now. Anyways, so anyways. Oh my gosh. So, um, they could look straight after you mark them and pierce them, but... They, all piercings do slide, so watch out for that. Um, they do make your teeth crooked, so if you if you have nice straight teeth, um, people are looking at me weird. If you have nice straight teeth, I suggest not to do it because when you're laying down, it does push against your teeth sometimes. And yeah, the person that's piercing it has to make sure they're piercing downwards-ish. Depending how high you have it, it's either in and downwards towards, like, your tongue or, like, how your teeth splits right there. Yeah, because you do not want to point it towards the gums or, like, with any oral piercings, you don't want it to touch the gums because it causes gum recession. And I don't know if you guys know this, but gum recession, if it's, if it's, been happening long enough it could pull your gums could go high enough to where your tooth could fall out earlier than you should be they should be falling out so you guys definitely got to be careful with that um um how do i clean them i clean them with sea salt i boiled sea salt and water together for five minutes like made sure it was bubbling so constant bubbling for five minutes same rate of bubbling for five minutes mixed it and everything while it was boiling poured it in the water or poured it in a cup so let it cool down and then I put it in a shot glass and put it against my cheek and then moved it around but this is when I had long bars in and this guy thinks I'm talking to myself because I'm weird anyways um I have long bars I don't know if you guys remember this but they were like as long as industrial bars um here let me put this down here um, it was as long as industrial bars, so, yeah, because the swelling, the swelling does happen three times as big as your cheek. Um, you walk around like that for about three to two weeks. Yeah, can you tell they were giving me dirty looks? Did you guys see that? I don't know, but yeah. So you walk around like that for about three to two weeks. Oh my god. Um, and then the... Does, your cheeks does not go back to normal until like three months but then again it's different for different people but this is how most experienced I am and most of the people that I've done or not done but knew um yeah it happens like that so you definitely to keep the swelling down you could uh freeze contact solution in a napkin in a baggie so I cut up like squared napkins put contact solution I made sure it was soaked in the... Oh, shit. Awkward. Okay, sorry. <laughs> People keep walking and staring. I'm gonna just keep talking. Um, so, you put it in a bag with the cut-up napkins and put contact solution in there. And then I froze that overnight. So, in the morning, I would put it over my cheeks. So, it would keep the swelling down and it's cleaning it. So, I would move my the cheek rings around. Um, 
the healing process, it could take up to three months to a year or just even longer, depending how patient you are with it. You have to have a lot of patience with any piercing, but definitely the cheek piercings, you got to have patience. Um, if, uh, well, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, and then I would use non-alcohol Listerine or mouthwash to mouthwash my mouth to put it in my mouth and rinse it and everything. Make sure I move my cheek bars around again. Um, I'm trying to remember what I told you guys in the other videos too so that it's like all in one so you guys don't have to scatter everywhere. Um, I'm trying to remember but my hair is getting longer. Yay! Okay, anyways. Oh my gosh. Um, 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 um. I forgot what I was going to say, guys. I think that's all the questions that I had and answered. Put it down below so that you guys could get a different video from me. And I'll try and upload a video of my uncle's motorcycle. It's a one-arm swing Yamaha. Yamaha? I'm trying to... I don't remember how to say it. Yamaha? I'm trying to remember what kind it is, though. Like... There's more specific ones, but it's a single iron swing. Um, he got the paint job redone and everything with flames and skulls. And oh my god, you guys, I'll just upload it later so that you guys could, you know, see. Um, I can't, ooh, this guy, ooh, and I was waving at you guys. He thought I was waving at him. Oops, yeah. Um, so. I'm trying to remember. I know there's one more question. I can't remember it. The, all my piercings I've done myself. Um, except for my ears. But I've gauged on myself. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to see like makeup tutorials? Uh, no. No. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know down below. If not, I'll, I won't do it. Because I don't know can't edit right now I don't know why yeah so I'm gonna let you guys go this video has been seven minutes holy shit and people are staring hopefully oh um if you guys know how to do HD videos on iPhone 4s's if it's not possible let me know I really want to make it like HD so that it annoys me when it's not HD um, and I don't want to record off of my camera because you got to like transfer it to the computer and then computer to editing and blah, blah, blah. You guys understand. So, let me know down below if you guys want to see makeup tutorials. Um, more questions about piercings or my dimple piercing. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yes, they do give you dimples. Mana. So, if you wanted dimples, um, not surgically through piercings, yes, um, they do give you dimples. Like I said, you gotta be careful because all piercings do slide. And if you have real dimples and you do it on top of that, it could mess up your real dimples. Um, the dermals do not give you dimples. I mean, they might give you a little dent, but. It won't give you a full effect of a real dimple, well, of a real dimple, um, if you don't get bars. So, I start off really long, like industrial bars, my ears are too small. Well, industrial bars are like an inch and a half. Yeah, and then I switch down to like, um, five eighths? No. Hmm. Yeah, I think I went to five eighths. That's what's in my cheeks right now. The five eighths is the length. There you go for those that keep asking what's in my cheeks. Five eighths. Um, five eighths. Yeah, that's the shortest I'm going. I don't want to go any shorter because the shorter the bars go, the deeper your dimples go. And I'm happy with how deep they are for me. And... I don't want them any deeper, and I like them for the piercings, so you guys should definitely comment down below all the stuff you guys want to see coming up videos, and questions, 
All right, bye.